Hello, this is Adrienne Torres of Essential Soul Coaching. How are you doing? Hey, so one of my subscribers wanted me to do a reading on Jack Slosberg, who is the son of President John F. Kennedy, or son of Caroline Kennedy. So I'm going to do a little reading. She wanted to know more about uh, his life and if he, um, about his love life, right, and his career. So I'm going to do a quick read on him, if you all don't mind. All right, so the first cards I'm going to pull out is going to be like just on his personality in general. So, so Jack Slosberg, we're going to do a quick so I'm gonna let you see my cards because a lot of you always asking me to see my cards. So here we go. And as I'm shuffling, make sure I'm being honest with you. Okay, so this is a reading on Jack Slosberg, right? John F. Kennedy's grandson, his one and only grandson. Because I think Carolyn has three children, two daughters and a son. I haven't really paid a lot of attention to them lately. They're not really in the news anymore. So let's see. What is going on with him? Let's look at his personality. What is his personality like? I'm going to throw out one card for him. His personality came out. And it says slut. <laughs> Y'all, I see what it says slut. As we can see it. Slut. Slut doesn't know. Slut doesn't necessarily mean a slut. It could be just a very flirty person. You know, a good person who likes a good time and who is very flirty. All right, and I'm gonna throw out one more card for him on his personality, his personality, Jack Slossenberg. Just one more card on his personality. What is he like as a person? What is he like as a person? What is he like as a person? Oh, I got two cards, so I have to throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these. So the second card came out, oh, he's a warrior. He's a flirty warrior. And the last card came out is Fairy Godmother. I don't know why that one came out yet. But Fairy Godmother is somebody who likes to go and help people. I hope that doesn't mean he's gay. I don't think so. <laughs> but anyway, he's a warrior. He likes to flirt. He's a strong guy who likes a good fight. And it says fairy godmother. Maybe make other people's dreams come true. But what we do know about this family is that um you see these cards. Is that uh, they do like helping out the underprivileged. He has gone to law school. I think he graduated. Uh, he's in law school as of 2017. So we do know he likes fighting for the underdog. His mom's a lawyer. Of course, his grandfather was a lawyer. Um, and you know they're for social justice so let's see what's going on with this guy here this young man so I'm gonna throw out nine cards I'm gonna shuffle first Try to do this quickly let him talk about his life and his career all right so I'm gonna cut the cards And now I'm going to do nine cards. This is the middle. This is uh, the bottom, the bottom. Three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got nine cards. And here are the cards. Hopefully you can see them. So we want to know more about his relation, his career, and his. Uh, let's see if you can see these. Probably not. His career and his uh, love life. So let's start with his uh, career first, okay? So let's see. First, we're starting out with the high tower. These are my Kipper cards. The the thing is about him is a very emotional person, very thoughtful person. This is this card here, very thoughtful person. Okay, and of course he comes from a very wealthy family. It says High Tower. And there's a journey he's taking right now. Okay, and oh, okay. 
it has to do with the chords. If you can see this, because I wrote the English words on it, these are German cards. So this guy comes from a wealthy background. Even though he comes from a wealthy background, look at this card. Even though he comes from a wealthy background, he is interested in the underserved, social justice, people who are not as wealthy as he is. Or either he comes from a big wealthy family, but he lives humbly. He's a humble person. He's one he's on his journey towards court because he is in law school now, isn't that something? Okay. So there's transition. And the end of something coming up of his thoughtfulness, maybe it's his studies. Okay, what's this card? And <laughs> there's unexpected money. You see that? Let's see, let me read this. Yeah. Are they, okay, so uh, there's change, of course, coming again. It's moving forward. To become a lawyer. <laughs> I'm laughing because these cards are I'm telling y'all these cards are the truth. And I think he's we asked about his relationship. Marriage. Rich girl. He's gonna marry a rich girl, someone who has some money. So yeah, okay, so let's go back. He's flirty, but he's a warrior. He likes to fight for social justice. And you know what the fairy godmother does. She makes all the... Mother, fairy, fairy godmother in all stories helps the underdog all the time. Transform into what they need to become. Who they need to become. So he's one of those people who works with social justice. He's a warrior for social justice. Okay. So he's very thoughtful. Probably in school. He comes from a rich family. But he has their social justice or he lives humbly. He's on his journey to become to work in the courts and become a lawyer. There's becoming the end to his studies. And at the end of his studies, there's gonna be money. Now you know his father's rich too. Slosberg is his father's very rich as well. End of the studies. And there's there's gonna be money. There will be money, unexpected money. So a wealth inheritance coming soon. And then um, there's change. He's moving forward to become a lawyer and marrying a rich girl. He's thinking about a rich girl who, let's see, so the rich girl are in his thoughts and maybe they're from his, the society he lives in or she's, she's humble but even though he's either, so she's rich so she's got money too but she may also be humble. He's moving towards the thought process or um, solutions for court. So there's some things in court that he's trying to move forward. He's he's want to sit on he's sitting on certain um, platforms that he wants to bring social reform to. Maybe he's working with his mother or his the the, the Kennedy family and pushing for social change in the laws. Um, lawyer thoughtful journey but this is a new journey for him he's still young and but at the end of the day there's expected unexpected money coming towards him so for his career of course he's gonna be a lawyer for his relation and he's moving in that direction but it's social justice and helping others to transform very godmother and becoming who they can be who they are meant to be their purpose in life but he's also looking at this rich girl who comes from his, own, his same background, who has the same thoughts about life as he does, even though she's rich, she either may be humble or she may also think about the people who have a lower plight um, in their social injustice. So that's pretty much the reading on him, and that's a pretty good reading. Um, and you all saw me shuffle the cards, and you all saw me pull the cards. So there is no tricks on these cards. These cards tell the freaking truth. And um, this is where we are. I don't know him very well. I, I, I remember when Caroline got married to Slosberg, um, and, and she had her kids. And then when she tried to run for senator in New York, and that was it. I don't think I kept up with him um, after that. But this, 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 this boy, he's this man, this young man, is moving in the, of course, in the same line, 
and path as his mother and his his, his grandfather, his his uncle, John F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, this is what he was born and raised to do. So, and this is who he's becoming. This is his personality. It's not something they're forcing on him. This is his personality. And that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. See how this guy is? He's just a humble guy wearing normal clothes, but he's going to have, he has money coming towards him. We know that. Kennedy money and the Salzburg money. So, yep. Yeah, that is the reading for the day. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope my subscriber who asked for me to do it enjoys it. Um, and, um, Hey, if you have any questions for me, just put it down in the comments below or email me. And, and if um, you're chosen, I will do a reading uh, for something that you've asked about. I have no problems with that. I enjoy doing readings. Because one thing that we know is that the cards don't lie. And there will be something else to talk about tomorrow. Thank you again. Like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.